Hey guys, Unscathed here, long time no see, and maybe a little bit weird to say now at the beginning of the video, but hopefully, hello will be from the future. So, I just wanted to quickly make a video about learning Japanese and my experience with that. So about last year, I decided to start a new hobby, so to speak, of learning a new language. And at the time, I wanted to learn Japanese because I had a bit of familiarity with it. Not as an actual learner or as someone who spoke the language, but more someone who had consumed media using that language. So I kind of want to give a bit of my experience as well as my current goals and motivations uh, for learning the language in this video. So around my teenage years, or starting a little bit younger, I used to watch uh, anime uh, through Toonami on Cartoon Network and stuff like Naruto, One Piece, whatever was on at the time. I would um, try to watch, although it was dubbed, it's still like another cartoon to me. It's pretty interesting. But around high school, uh, I had a couple of friends who would watch anime and actually suggested some and got me started with that. So these anime were instead subbed using the natural language and I thought, oh wow, that's so cool. I really started like anime around that time and would continue to watch that. I still do to this day. Um, but uh, what I really fell in love with, and I didn't realize until some time later, is I fell in love with the actual language itself, so Japanese. Um, I really like how the actual language sounds, like with the next of the vowel sounds, uh, constructing most of the uh, characters with the exception of N. Um, but it's just very fascinating how people can string up these uh, characters to form words and sentences and and it still blows my mind to this day how that works and I, I, I just really love it so <laughs> um, so around high school uh, a bit later on I was like hmm I kind of want to try learning this or maybe learning a little bit about Japanese so I tried to decide I decided to start learning hiragana or at least attempting to so maybe I learned a few characters here and there but I decided to give up or rather, it didn't stick with me at the time. Though, a fun story is, uh, I still remember one character from that time, which kept on through the years. I don't know why, but No is the uh, first character I recall, the oldest character I recall learning uh, for Hiragama. So, a few times uh, throughout the de uh, decade or so, I uh, continued to try to go back into learning it. I was like, hmm, nah. And then just kind of picked up, but that kind of changed. Last year, um, I decided to make a New Year's resolution where I wanted to obtain a new hobby of some sort. I was like, hmm, what can I do? Decided in April of last year that I want to learn Japanese. Because again, I had more familiar with that language and it just sounded awesome to me. And I just love the language, how it sounded. So I'm like, what if I could speak that? So I actually, this will sound a little bit embarrassing, but I'm not embarrassed by it. Um, I started with a um, visual novel for learning it called Love Language Japanese. So essentially the game was a visual novel. I had played a few before, but uh, in this, um, along with the story itself, well, not much of the story, but still a fun time, you got to learn hiragana and katakana in order to progress with the game, uh, as well as some vocabulary using hiragana and uh, just a handful of kanji, which I honestly don't remember to this day. I still know them because I've learned them beyond that, but at the time I just forgot them. Um, but in that game, it kind of gives that great introduction to how you pronounce different uh, hiragana or characters, how you write them or recognize them. And it was a good start for my um, resolution, essentially my new hobby. Um, so after that, it's kind of funny. I just kind of dropped from uh, learning. I was like, it was a really nice experience. But I'm not too motivated to learn or to study. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll drop it off. Uh, though, from time to time again, um, I would go on to Reddit. There's a subreddit where you could learn a vocab word each day. And it would have a new kanji along with hiragana. So that's how I would practice writing hiragana. Or at least uh, recognizing and spelling out using ramaji what the hiragana represented. Um, and I still visit that to this day. I uh, pop in here and there. But... Um, it's really nice, and I learned more for a kanji to twist, or at least a vocab. So along with that, I would be on and off for about maybe half a year. And then around, I wanted to say October, I um, started to learn kanji. I was like, hmm, I have a bit of experience with hiragana and katakana, more so hiragana. Katakana is not as strong to this day. But um, I figured, why not actually learn the immense amount of uh, kanji character, or characters represented as kanji? And... It's still a progress for me, 
and I'll get to that here momentarily, but I started with a game, an RPG called Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji Combat. And that kind of gave me a good introduction with both uh, Kunyomi and Onyomi, uh, with uh, different ways you pronounce something. But Onyomi is from the original Chinese uh, language, and Kunyomi is a Japanese interpretation of uh, Vals. Or I may be wrong on that, but that's my closest uh, knowledge on that, or my closest uh, understanding. Um, so I played that for about a month. Um, I was streaming actually on Twitch every so often. I still have those streams up. But um, around the end of November, I, um, well, previously to that, I had a coworker who was also learning Japanese. I think they're now learning Korean. But uh, they introduced me to a site called Wani Kani. And I figured, hmm, might as well give that a try because you can learn kanji on there. And uh, my experience with that is uh, pretty, pretty good so far. I started, and for a day, each day at least, I would go on and just learn a few words here and there, um, either the kanji itself or vocabulary tied with the kanji, and hiragana, katakana, whatever is attached. And uh, today, I'm still today to this day, uh, I'm still pretty strong with that. I'm uh, still learning, but oh boy, is it a lot to go over per day, um, especially with a busy schedule. So. Um, that's something I'm really proud of is I'm learning quite a few. And I'm going to also, maybe right now, put something here to kind of show my progress with that. I think we're on level 11. I don't know what I've learned, how much I've learned so far. Um, so along with that, uh, you're not going to just learn with words or vocabulary from language. You also need to know how to structure a sentence and be able to converse with others. So um, that's my weak point right now. And... I think near the beginning of this year, I started learning uh, grammar. And I don't remember the source I'm learning from. I'll post that here now. But um, I started learning grammar, and I have some basic understanding of some grammar. Uh, for example, possession using not, and um, is, A is B, for example, that kind of stuff. I've really been off of that for now, and I really hope to go back to that soon. Uh, hopefully in the near future. We'll just have to see what happens. Um, but hopefully by the time I make another one of these videos, uh, I'll know more grammatically and feel more comfortable with at least very simple sentences. Um, and another thing I do, which isn't necessarily for learning, but I kind of use it for some light review, is uh, I, wa I still watch Japanese content. I don't watch as much anime these days, although I still will watch sub when possible. But I've uh, really gotten into VTubing and VTubers. Um, especially Japanese VTubers, and I'll watch their content, uh, just because it uh, allows a great opportunity to watch someone talk with day-to-day -day speech. So I'm slightly learning from that, slightly more so just reviewing what I've learned. And it's really, uh, really a fun way to review. So I really like that. Um, I do read manga here and there, um, though typically it's in English. Every now and then I'll try to pick up something that's in basic Japanese and see what I can understand from it. Sometimes I'll be able to get more than I expect, but I don't really understand much of what I'm reading. Uh, sometimes I can't even read it, or a lot of the times rather, I can't read certain words. So Furigana is a really great tool for that if you know uh, Hiragana. And it helps you to hopefully learn uh, Kanji at the same time. So why do I learn Japanese? Uh, the main reason is it's fun. I enjoy studying and um, I still do enjoy studying to this day. It becomes a bit more of a drag. So even though I do study, sometimes I'll have low days where I don't overwhelm myself with it and just maybe do, I, I still say consistent. It's just, I don't study hard, but other days I will try to pick up some slack and or that slack and uh, just study what I can. Um, along with uh, it being fun, I hope to actually visit Japan one day and not only just go there, uh, to see what's around, because you can do that without even knowing the language, you'll be fine, especially in Tokyo, for example. But um, being able to immerse myself with the language as well uh, as the culture would be a very, very fun experience, I think. So I hope to uh, be able to do that one day. Um, and not necessarily going to Japan, but just even talking with others, chatting with others. For example, with VTubing, you can interact, or the person can interact with their audience, and I be, think it'd be fun to also be able to interact back in a native language that's not my own. Um, or at least not my first language. So um, there's that motivation as well. And overall, I just want to get to a point where I can become fluent or at least hold a conversation. Um, 
if I don't do any of those above, uh, other options, I at least uh, get to have fun with uh, what I've learned. And being able to speak is part of that fun. Even in translating like songs, writing songs as well, I think would be really fun. Or translating from Japanese to English would be fun. And vice versa, English to Japanese. I know it's going to be a lot of hard work, but uh, hopefully that hard work will pay off one day. So that's essentially my little announcement. I guess not really an announcement, but it's first video. So uh, I don't know. I uh, thought it'd be fun to watch this or look back onto my experience so far and see how I progress through certain parts. And though technically I consider this to be a one-year uh, update, it's more so maybe a four-month, five-month update, realistically, with how consistent I've been. Um, but I'll, I'll also kind of say one year just because of when I started and I actually stuck with it, even though I was on and off the first half of the year. Um, along with that, I hope to make another update video. I don't know when and I don't know what kind of criteria I want to compare to. Maybe something like this. Maybe what's that criteria? I'm not sure yet, so we'll just have to see how it goes. Anyways, uh, I know it's been a while, but thank you for watching my video, my other videos as well, and I hope to see you guys soon.